Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Jivy World and I am back with some MLB 16 Diamond Dynasty and I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, if not, I hope your day gets better. Uh, if you saw the last episode, the last Battle Royale episode I posted, I said I had a little bit of a surprise. So this is it. As you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be doing kind of a squad builder, but a national squad builder since the WBC is next summer, I believe. Uh, just, I don't think this has been done with MLB. Uh, it's been done a lot with FIFA. Obviously, there's a lot of variety, a lot of different players you can choose from, a lot of different na nations you can create, you know, choose players and create the links. And since there's, uh, chemistry, there's a little more incentive to do that as opposed to MLB, which doesn't have it. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to build a couple teams and see what teams you can build from different nations. And the first team I decided to go with was the Dominican Republic, probably being because I am Dominican. Uh, but yeah, I thought it could be something that I could do maybe once a week, once every two weeks, build a squad with a different nation. Uh, of course, obviously, they'll need a decent amount of players on the team from the country so that I'm able to play the game. Uh, a couple teams that I wanted to do it with, obviously, like Cuba, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Colombia and Canada will be a little tougher. Uh, but... USA will most likely be the very last team I do if I do continue doing this just because looking at the market today alone It is extremely expensive to do team USA. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling out this roster All right, so for pitchers I am obviously going with the Hall of Fame of first Dominican Hall of Fame player Juan Marichal Next, going with Johnny Cueto. I've got a couple flashback players in Bartolo Colon. As well as Wandy Rodriguez. And filling out the fifth spot in the rotation is Carlos Martinez. For relief pitchers, uh, going with Dylan Batances and Kelvin Herrera. I think that might be it, but I'm also going with Pedro Baez. Uh, I was considering between Pedro Strope and Pe Pedro Baez to fill in the last spot in the bullpen. I think I'm going with Pedro Baez. Also in the bullpen, uh, Fernando Rodney, flashback card. Haven't used that card yet, kind of excited to use it. Oh, and actually I forgot to take out Dario Alvarez. I think he's the highest rated left-handed a uh, relief pitcher right now who's Dominican, but unfortunately he did not make the cut. Santiago Casilla also making the squad. And I believe I'm missing one more player. Alex Colon. All right, for catchers, we're going to have Wellington Castillo coming off the bench. I think that's it for catchers for first baseman uh david ortiz will also be coming off the bench and carlos santana will be starting at catcher second base i'm just gonna have robinson cano the regular robinson cano i thought about purchasing the flashback 2009 7 flash uh robinson cano but honestly this is the first time i see robinson cano not at a 97 uh with insider edge At third baseman, we have a slew of third basements, and I think I'm keeping Alex Rodriguez off the lineup, although he said he promised he was going to play in the 2009 WBC. He never did, so I think I may use him in the USA team since he did play with USA between 2005 and 2006, I believe. But we're going to go with Albert Pujols at first base. Manny Machado at third and Adrian Beltre coming off the bench. Also, at shortstop, we're going to have the flashback Jose Reyes. Prime. And I think that might do it for shortstops. Uh, in left field, I'm actually putting Starling Marte in center. Uh, Melky Cabrera was close, but he did not make the cut. I w really wish there were a flashback. Yankees Melky Cabrera because that card will probably be pretty sick switch hitting center fielder 
Uh, actually, for center fielders, the card that I really wanted to get was Carlos Gomez. However, there were none on the market. There, there hasn't been one yet placed on the market. Uh, so yeah, so just kind of waiting for someone to unlock that. And maybe, maybe try to get to use that card. But Marcelo Zuna will be coming off the bench. And then we have a couple of right fielders in Jose Batista playing right field. Nelson Cruz in left. And I think that rounds out the starting lineup. But I'm missing one player. I did. I missed a shortstop. Jonathan Villar on the bench as well. And that's the squad we're going with. Not a bad team at all. 91 overall. A uh, solid lineup, I think. This is the lineup I'm actually going with. Jose Reyes leading off. Robin Skinner batting second. Manny Machado third. Pujols cleaning up. Batista following up. Nelson Cruz. Stalin Marte and Carlos Santana with the pitcher batting ninth. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump into a game. All right, so we are playing at home in New York City, of course, where... I'd say that's the majority of the Dominicans in this country are. Pitch swung on and, hit in the air. and we get a first pitch fly out to center Marte to Marte to start the game. The Juan Marichal, the Hall of Famer on the mound for the us. Box. I really, really, really yes. hope next year Pedro Martinez is in the game. Because that will be great to play with. All right, so the one flaw in this team is, aside from the catcher not being the best catcher in the world, and Carlos Santana and Wellington Castillo, I need that call. The one flaw in this team, though, is we have no lefty out of the bullpen. The only lefty we have is Wandy Rodriguez. Flashback Wandy, Wandy Rodriguez. And that's not even who we Jim have on the mound. And we got to face Jim Edmonds. So here we go. Let's see if we can get a 1-2-3 inning. Got him chasing that two-seamer. Maybe that's how I have to start throwing that two-seamer. I've been throwing it as a two-seamer that starts in and tails towards the towards in towards the plate. I should be using it tailing away. Because the other way I, I throw it, it seems I get absolutely crushed. It ends up tailing right into the middle of the plate, and it catches too much, and I end up getting destroyed. Hopefully, he's not sitting on this fast behind into Jim Edmonds, because with the short porch, if he if he's sitting on that fastball, he's definitely taking me deep. But Juan Marichal looking really good to start this game. Let's see if we can get. Ooh, he's on that. All right, so I I can't get I can't put him away right now. I need to send him a chair, but it seems I can't put him away, and now he's pausing. I did hang that curveball right over the plate. Buddy was early on it. Got him on the changeup. Sit down. Bye. Have a great time. So I'm getting my first at bat with Prime Jose Reyes. Now a swing and a ground. And he's got he's got a flashback of his own. Gaylord Perry, I believe. Here we go. One, two count. Tapped out in front Not what we wanted at all. Play. A quick out. Hot shot all right, down pulled the it down the line. Uh, Just barely missed first getting first some two. chalk. Here so we got a no two count. Two pitch. And a That's, that might be one of the first fastball he throws. Ball. And only at 90 mile an hour, I can see why he's not throwing a lot of it. If we can get through Reggie Jackson, we got a couple of righties up next. To start off the next inning, so we'll be pretty good. Still have to face Mike Trout, but this is a good way to end the inning. All right, the machine is up. Look at that plate vision. Look at that plate coverage. Looks amazing. That ball is hit high. Can it get out? Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Let's go. Let's go. First pitch for Albert Pujols, and he leaves a hanging curveball, and we bang it. Amazing. Let's go. This team has power, I'll tell you that much. I'm not even mad that I bought Albert Pujols in the middle of the week for 20000 more than he was going today. I'm, I'm over it now. Thought we could run into one, and we're going to sneak that in the hole. Good hitting on 0-2, and we're still cooking here. What he doesn't know is that I will very easily make this a bullpen game, but you know what? I won't. Can we put this ball in play? 
I don't know if I went. I really don't think I did. All right, Jose Ray is up. Something in the gap would be great here. And we're going to ground out right to the first baseman. Bad, bad management by me. We only get one run out of the inning. Thanks to the solo bomb from the machine. But that's all right. Now Mike Trout also hitting 300. And we're going to get him to pop up on a fastball at the fist. Easily to left field. One down. And Machado's going to pop out to the second baseman. Honestly, I'm really excited for Machado to play for the Dominican Republic national team. He's already made it very clear that he's going to be playing for DR. Uh, it's a family dream. He did get some shade for it. Uh, people saying that since he was born in the United States that he should be playing for the United States. But you know what? His blood run stick, and you know what? So does that guy. Tell me that's gone. Tell me that's gone. Another one for Albert Pujols, the machine. I don't know if I'm going to flip this card. I may keep this card. I may have to keep that card because Jesus Louise. That should have been a... Albert Pujols would have crushed that ball. Curveball hasn't been our best pitch this game, but you know what? It will, oh, give me that. All right, three and two payoff. Hitting, uh, he's going with another changeup, but he did not go after it. That is piss poor. That is piss poor from Albert Pujols. And now I have to face Eddie Matthews with first and second and one runner across his inning. Oh, so that's where the zone is. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. All right. And that's in there as well, 0-2 oh now. All right, let's put him away here with a changeup. Come on. But he holds up in time, ball one. He might still chase his high fastball. We got him to chase, but he's got good speed out there. Marche doesn't have the strongest arm, but I hope he tests us. He thought about it. Very smart to go back. But he swings at a 2-0 curveball low in the zone. We're going to get out of the inning. There should be no runs on the board for him. That ground ball to first base. Pujols doesn't have the highest fielding, but that's a third base card. He really should have made that play. Rookie Pujols, I think, would have made that play at first. And he's going to walk us again. I don't think he'll pitch out on 2-2. He nearly got us. What? That animation did not look like he got me. And we're going to jam out one shortstop to the other. And we're going to beat it out. 90 speed was enough to beat that out. All right, so we got the machine back up. I'm pretty sure he's going to be smart enough to avoid us now. But with the runner on, he may do something He may do something wild and quick slide step, try to quick pitch us, and hopefully he hangs one. That was the pitch. Ah, right at the shortstop. A good line drive. That gets into the gap. That's possibly trouble for Jose Reyes. Still not a bad inning. We're still up. We got the top of the lineup now. So we just got to get through this. Actually, we have two innings we need to get through. Albert Pujols home runs. That's the pitch I keep telling myself not to throw. It doesn't work in this game. Why do I keep throwing that two-seamer like it's going to work? I'm not sure. Jim Edmonds. Now I have Jim Edmonds to deal with. This is extremely dangerous. That's a great spot. Gonna give Prince Fielder a first pitch fastball. I don't know why. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, and I'm, it's not over. I got Eddie Matthews to get through. Another lefty. They have taken the lead. It's now three and two. that comes one pitch too late. We surrender the lead. And, and he's going to walk us on four, five pitches. That's the first strike. Pitch is way outside. I'm going to make sure I go this time because last time we didn't. Now we got a runner in scoring position with nobody out. That's good hitting. We move the runner over. That's just good team baseball right there. So I'm all right with that. Yep, looks like he brought the corner in. To hold the lead. Gonna and throw some hard stuff in. Very well smart. Very smart pitching from this guy. Right he Full count pitch. There it is. That is not only an RBI, but it's a base hit for Starling Marte. And now we have some speed on base. 
And That's fine. Three and one count now. We still got a hitter's now. count. Hit and we're going to ground out to second. All right, so far we got a really good game on our hands. I need someone to come in and shut the lights. Because honestly, I got Reggie Jackson and Mike Trout to get through. No sinker. And luckily we got him to fly out on that pitch because that pitch caught way too much of the zone. I was supposed to be a back foot slider. And instead I think it was low and but down the middle. Let's see how good this two-seamer is. That ball is hit pretty well into the gap. It's going to be a double. Hopefully no more. All right, so he's going to go a ball behind him. And we got two down, which is pretty good. That's fine. We're okay. We're good. Got his pitcher up. He's going to make a substitution here. Let's see who he brings in. Ichiro Suzuki up. And Omar Infante up next. I may have to pitch around Ichiro. And even though most likely he'll get each own to scoring position, I don't want to get burned by a guy with 99 contact. I'd rather let Omar Infante burn me. So that could be a run, and it is a run. I got a gold glover, had plenty of time to make that play, and that's how we give up the lead. Gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. All right, we got to go to him in right field. He's probably going to go. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third. And that means uh, we got a barrage of lefties up. Might have to finally get our debut with Fernando Rodney. Fernando Rodney will get the call here in a big spot as he inherits a base. We got no lefties on this team. Fernando Rodney has that circle change, which is deadly. And can we get there in time? Because we're going to underhand it every single time. They underhand that throw. I've noticed that. And we'll try to finish him with a fastball. He's not swinging at it off the plate. Last time I threw him a fastball low and away. Did not end well. So let's see if we can K him with a circle change. Good take. This has been the inning from hell. I take my starter out, and it's just gone downhill from there. But it's all right. We have one more left to get through, and this inning is just going from bad to worse. But we finally are going to get out of it. Ground ball to Manny Machado, barehanded. Would have gotten us out of this inning with the game tied. But that's baseball. We end up giving up four runs because of it. Doesn't have very good stats against lefty, especially with this lefty on the mound. And we're going to hit the pitcher. He's going to take his time. And he's going to throw us out. Good pitch to start off the machine. He throws him a slider, back foot slider. Pretty good pitch there. Let's see if he comes with a hard stuff now. There it is, as expected. For a ball, one and one. What else has he got? Will he go change up here? I'm I'm and reading this guy like a book. This pitch misses. It's two and one. So let's see what he's got here. Good spot. Oh, he's he's throwing every pitch now. he has this at bat. Gave me the kitchen sink. But that ball's going to hang up just a little too much, and it's an easy play for Edmonds. He's got another right he's got to deal with. I'm not sure why he kept in Chris Sale. Maybe because uh, Albert Poole's contact is higher versus uh, righties than it is lefties. I'm down by four runs. Gets us on base with a base hit right up the middle. Good hitting to start the inning. All we need is base runners now. I don't need that. Come on. I know you want to go home. Um, I know you want to go ho home. I've been there before. Trust me, I've been there before, but you can't do that. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher. That's a good spot, I guess. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge All right, so we're down to our last out. Jose Reyes, I thought I timed that curve all right. But I couldn't get it in the PCI, so that means a swing and a miss. It's crazy. Sometimes you miss the PCI, 
nowhere near the ball and you make contact but i timed it right barely missed it and uh i swing and miss and so a base hit here would be great no i didn't why did it hold up regardless gg to my opponent good game he played well prince fielder took this yard not the only thing that cost us the game we gave up four runs off an check swing base hit should not have been barehanded gold glove third baseman i'm a little upset about that still a good game he won a good game and we slip under 1900 yet again oh give me that Corey seager one time just one time give me one good player at the end of the game regardless i really enjoyed that it was really fun to play with a bunch of dominican players it was fun to do this i'm really hoping that i can do this more with other nations like cuba like i said cuba colombia puerto rico venezuela canada usa is definitely going to be the last team i do this with it's going to be really expensive and i don't know if i have the subs to create a super you know team usa regardless i had a lot of fun doing this if there's a team you really want to see me do next leave it down below in the comments if you enjoy this drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and peace